What's up, guys? Welcome to the first BFS how to video. I'm an expert mechanic, that's why they call me Narwrench. Today, I'm going to show you how to grip a scooter deck. Now, the easiest way to grip a scooter deck is to just pay me to do it. Five bucks for square, 10 bucks for nice and cut out or 20 bucks for me to clean it all up, take the old stuff off, which is a pain in the butt, put the new stuff on. But today, I'm gonna run you through the process in case you wanna do it for yourself. So here I have one of my rental scooters. Grip tape was crappy, I've already cleaned it off to some degree. These are the things you're going to need. I have some grip tape. Skate tool, six millimeter Allen key possibly some other Allen keys. I have a wrench, I have a rag, I have some degreaser cleaner, and of course, I have a razor blade. Step one, this is optional, but this really makes it a lot easier. Just take the scooter apart. You could lay it flat, makes, makes the whole process so much easier. So real quickly, you take it apart just like this. Okay. Next, you gotta take the back wheel off and the brake off. This scooter, the brake is broken, there's no brake on it, so I don't have to take the brake off. If you're doing your grip tape square, you don't have to take the brake off. If you wanna do a good job on your grip tape, you remove the rear wheel. Now with the rear wheel off, you can kind of just lay the deck in front of you. It's a lot easier to work with it. What we have to do first here is we have all of this gunk on the deck from the previous grip tape. The new grip tape will not stick on this, so you need to get it all off. So I use Clean Streak, you use Brake Clean, any sort of degreaser. And all we're gonna do is get all this crap off there. Now my deck is cleaned up. Everything looks good. No sticky residue on it. Feels good. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to apply the grip tape. Now I've already cut my grip tape. The closer to the dimensions you can get it, the better. I am not going to be doing the front of the deck by the down tube. I'm just going to be doing the body of the deck and the rear end of the deck. I'm using these two scrap pieces. They should line up no problem. This is how I like to do it. Pay attention now, this is the big, big important stuff. I peel a little bit of the grip tape, not all of it. And I lay it down from the non-sticky side first. And I run it, and I try to get everything lined up. And then I put the sticky side down. This will really ensure you're straight. And I can peel up the non-sticky side and at, and as I slowly peel this off, I'm just pushing it down. This is the best way to avoid air bubbles. There you go, okay, piece one down. Piece number two, I need to line this up perfectly right here, perfectly with the other piece. You can do it just like a skateboard. You can leave a line in it if you want. You can put a sticker under there, put the grip tape, show it, whatever you want to do. It's all, it's all possible. So for the rear piece, I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to peel just the end. I'm going to line up this exactly where I want it, no problem. And at, again, as I'm peeling it off, I'm pressing it down. All right, now comes the fun stuff. One warning, do not cut grip tape with scissors. That's stupid. Use a disposable razor blade. It's sharper, it'll work better. This is sandpaper. Its job is to sand. It'll ruin a pair of scissors. Moving along. So now, before we cut this, we need to figure out where to cut this. And this is where the scraping comes involved. This is where you use your screwdriver. You could use an Allen key. I think something rounded like a screwdriver works best. 
So this, does, this serves two purposes. One, as I scrape, it shows me where I need to cut. And two, the metal is obviously more durable than, than the sandpaper, the grip tape. So it'll actually take a bunch of the grit off, making the cut less harsh on the razor blade. Well, first we'll do the left side. I'm applying a pretty good amount of force here. You can see the lines slowly appearing. Nice and easy. It kind of shows you itself. I'm gonna do the other side. It's important to keep the screwdriver at the same angle the whole time you're doing it. You don't want it to be like this and then like this. You want to keep it like a nice 45, maybe a little steeper than 45 across the top. Then on the back side, I'll do a little bit of the back. All right, now here, here, here comes one of the hacks. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna kind of feel for where that space for your rear wheel would be. And you're gonna take your, your razor blade, you're gonna cut a little slash right in the middle of it, all the way until you hit metal and stop. This allows the grip tape a little bit of give. So now when I get in with the screwdriver, and I have to use the edge of the screwdriver here, this allows me to trace the rear end. Kind of round the corner a little bit there. All right, there you have it. So now you can see I have my grip tape on here. I have the lines all traced. We're pretty much ready to cut. Another hack for you. This makes cutting so much easier. Take these flaps and just peel them up. Not all the way up, just a little bit up. I'm telling you this is a hack that'll make your life a lot easier. Now it's time to cut. We're gonna take our razor blade. And just like with your screwdriver, with your razor blade, it's very important to keep the same angle. So I like to position myself in a space where I can move my arm all the way through the length of the deck. I wanna get halfway and adjust. I don't wanna turn. I wanna match the angle all the way through. So I wanna set myself up. The first bit of cut, you wanna just make sure you're nice and easy. Just get in there like maybe like a quarter inch. Now what I'm gonna do is with one hand, I'm going to grab the piece of grip tape I'm going to be pulling away, the cutting part, part I'm cutting off. And with the other hand, I'm going to cut along the line in one smooth motion. I'm going to actually stop right there with the piece cut, set up myself again for a cut, and go. Now, as I'm getting to the corner, I know I have a bend coming up. And I make the bend. Now, once you get to the bottom of the deck, I just speed up pace a tiny bit and just cut off to the edge. Boom, no problem. Repeat the process to the other side. Be very, very careful when you're using the blade. Don't cut yourself. Your moms would call me and be like, why did you teach my kid how to cut a scooter deck grip tape? He cut his finger off and Dave ruined Christmas. All right, now we get a little bit to the little more difficult stuff. We're gonna do the back edge right here. Come on, boom, good. Same thing, peel this up. Get, get a little bit started, follow it to the end. Now, depending on how sharp this angle is in the corner, you might be able to round it, you might not be able to round it. Boom, okay. Need to do the back edge here. No problem, piece of cake. And then last but not least, let's make this edge. I'm really applying pressure through the corner and right off the edge. Okay, so now we have our deck. All the grip tape is on it, but we are not done yet. This is one of the most important steps of the process. The thing is, grip tape is sticky, right? That's good because it holds your feet on. 
but you don't want the edges of your grip tape to grab your feet because then you could peel the edge off. You don't want to peel your grip tape off. So this is a very, very important step. I see a lot of scooter kids forget to do this step. You take your scrap extra grip tape and you use it like it's an original intended purpose. And we're just going to sand the edges. So I'm just holding it on my thumb right down the edges. Right, nice and easy. Now you should be able to feel the edge of the grip tape. Feel the left side a little bit. I could feel the lip on the right side. It's nice and smooth. That's a solid indication that you've sanded it down properly. Especially make sure you get the edges, get the back corner. and then the front edge. There we go. That is a really nice grip tape job. All you have to do from this point is reassemble it. And really easy to reassemble it. You just go. And there you have it. That was how to install grip tape on a scooter, like a pro. Or you pay me to do it or you can try it yourself. Either way, if you need scooter grip tape, we have it in the shop. If you need a scooter to put grip tape on, we sell scooters. We sell scooter decks. If you buy a scooter, I'll put grip tape on it for you. Thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for a how-to video, leave it in the comment section, and uh, I'll see you at the skate park later.